Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to our channel. Once again, thank you so much for making our channel one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube for politics and current affairs, for personal finance, for stimulus news and unemployment benefits. Now, if there's anything worthwhile to report, I'll report it to you. Well, I do have something important to report. The $300 a week lost wages assistance program has now been approved as far as we can tell in every state except Nevada. Nevada has applied, but they haven't been approved yet. In fact, you will see a screen from FEMA on your website. And this is the list as we scroll down the list on the FEMA website. And this list actually shows Nebraska was just approved and this just happened yesterday. So as we scroll down this list, you'll see that every single state that applied with the exception of Nevada has been approved for the lost wages assistance program. However, However, and this is a big caveat, again, as we go down this list, you'll see that all states have been approved. Arizona, by the way, was the first state that started paying, followed by several other states, including Texas. However, speaking of Texas, you'll see an article on your screen from the Texas Tribune, which announced yesterday, and this just happened in the past 24 hours, unemployed Texans will no longer receive an extra $300 in weekly payments because FEMA just notified state officials in the past 24 hours in the state of Texas that the payments for out-of-work Texans have indeed ended and this was announced by the Texas Workforce Commission. So basically what's going on is this, everybody who's been receiving $300 weekly unemployment benefits by Texas will no longer receive those $300 booster payments after claims from last week are paid. So again, after the claims from last week are paid, there will be no more $300 a week payments because this money is essentially running out. And the agency said in a news release in the past 24 hours, the Texas Workforce Agency, that it was notified by FEMA, which provided the funds that, you know, the money had essentially run out. Roughly 1.8 million Texans are receiving the $300 benefit. And it's not clear at this point in time whether more aid will be coming to Texas. Keep in mind that all the states were guaranteed three weeks of payments and after that they had to serve certify week after week but right now it's not clear whether any more federal relief is coming for unemployed individuals and again this is from uh, for the state of Texas so uh, according to recent news reports the president is considering additional executive actions and I did do another video yesterday where I talked about additional executive actions that the president was considering but as of right now it looks like the unemployment benefits for Texans are over and done with. Now on your screen, you'll see an article from the New York Times uh, about $300 weekly benefits. Who will get it and when uh, and when will individuals get it? I've done other videos on my channel talking about when individuals get it, but I'll give you some more new information that has just come to light for this video. Now what we know so far about the states that are paying a full $400 is as follows. Kentucky, Montana and West Virginia are the states that are paying a full $400, not the $300, but a $400 a week benefit on top of the state UI benefits. And Vermont's plan to pay the full $400 is still awaiting approval from the state's legislature. And Kansas also said it plans to pay the full $400 a week. Also, like I mentioned, at this moment in time, Nevada is the only state that has applied but has still not received the approval. And if you want to check the status of approvals, definitely check out the FEMA website. Once again, here's the FEMA website that shows you all the approvals that for the different states that have that FEMA has provided approval for so you can definitely check out this list and your state is probably somewhere on the list and now keep in mind once the states get the money it's up to the states to then distribute that money to their residents speaking of distribution of money here's another chart on your screen that shows you that payments could still be weeks away there are six states at the time I'm recording this video that are already paying and three states have said that they'll start paying out early September or sooner which should be right around now also keep in mind that today at the time I'm recording this video September September 10th is the last day that states have to actually apply for the funds. Again, today is the last day that states can apply for the funds. Mid-September, 12 states have said that they'll start paying out in the middle of September. I have done other videos. I have done another video providing you with a timeline on when different states are paying out. So definitely check out that video. Two states are paying out in late September. Two states are paying out in October or later. One of them is Alaska. It's taking a very, very long time in some states for the payments to go out. And nine states are still working on re-engineering their systems and have not yet provided a precise date and time when those payments will be released to unemployed individuals in those states. It has been estimated that some states could take six weeks and others could take as long as eight weeks to start paying out benefits. At the time I'm recording this video, here are the states that have already started paying. Arizona was the first state, followed by Louisiana, Missouri, Montana, 
Tennessee and Texas. So these are the states that have indeed started paying out benefits. However, most states, and again, we'll show you this chart on your screen right here that shows you when payments are going to go out. Payments could likely be weeks away for many states. The, the problem is most states say it could take until mid-September, even later, to reprogram computer systems and take other steps to get the money to recipients. And by that time, the money will already run out. You saw my report at the start of this video uh, from news, uh, the news that came out of Texas suggesting that the payments had indeed already run out because this is a very limited amount of money and while I've been reporting the numbers there are some things that are actually being reported by economists that suggest that individuals simply don't have jobs to go back to the contention that individuals are getting overpaid and are therefore not going back to work by portions of the Republican ad administration by portions of the Republican establishment have indeed been refuted by economists. In fact, there was a recent report from, a, from an economist at the Becker Friedman Institute for Research and Economics at the University of Chicago found that despite anecdotal reports of individuals turning down jobs, which means, yes, there are some individuals who are turning down jobs because they make more money on unemployment. But, but despite that, I quote, very few workers would not have returned to work if given the opportunity. For most individuals, because the, the unemployment benefits are temporary, the, the bigger factors are, number one, the difficulty in finding another job. Number two, concerns about career setbacks and permanently lower wages that are associated with the short-term financial gain of making more money on unemployment benefits for some individuals. The long and short of it is that individuals do want to get back to work, but the jobs aren't there and uh, individuals who had jobs have actually lost them permanently. In fact, there's a growing sentiment amongst individuals that the job losses might be permanent. And keep in mind, according to the Labor Department, an individual who rejects an offer of suitable employment, again, an individual who rejects an offer of suitable employment is not eligible for unemployment benefits, according to the Labor Department. I have done other videos on what is considered suitable employment. I've done another video on what is considered an offer of suitable employment and whether you have good cause to refuse an offer of suitable employment. So definitely make sure you watch those videos. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. If you learn something new, please consider clicking like. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications because it really helps out our channel. It helps out my team. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know anything about me, check out my introductory video on our channel. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream. I'll never get tired of saying that. And I am a beneficiary of American exceptionalism. I'm a beneficiary of American greatness. And I do hope that you consider following our channel, subscribing and enabling notifications. Now, sometimes YouTube does not send out notifications. So make sure you bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. Once again, that's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. This way you can visit our channel and you can get updates at any time that you want. You won't miss a single video. Speaking of notifications, get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000. That's 70000. This way you can get added to SMS list and you'll, you'll get alerts and you can opt out at any time. Speaking of alerts, if you go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts, that's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. You can get on our email list and you can also opt out of our emails at any time that you want. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. We release exclusive content on Instagram specifically for our Instagram followers. One more time, please consider clicking like. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.